वेलकम टू प्रोग्रामिंग नॉलेज सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू आवर डिस्कशन ऑन बटन्स ओके सो द फर्स्ट थिंग आई एल कमेंट दिस आउट दिस इज अबाउट फ्लैट बटन विच वी डिस्कस्ड इन आवर प्रीवियस वीडियो ओके सो द नेक्स्ट टाइप ऑफ बटन दैट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इज रेस्ड बटन ओके सो फर्स्ट आई एल क्रिएट आ सेंटर एंड द चाइल्ड विल बी अ रेस्ड बटन ओके so the basic difference uh, between flat button and raised button is that raised button looks a little bit elevated like floating on screen and flat button is infused in screen okay so if you go to stack overflow you can find a very good example over here you can see this buttons are bulging out over here and these are basically raised buttons okay and then if you scroll down you can see over here the button seems to be infused like there is uh, no difference between the button background and the rest of the body of the alert dialog so the button seems to be infused in the dialog and such type of buttons are flat button okay so so back in our project over here we have a raised button okay and raised button also takes an on pressed okay on pressed is compulsory for every button okay then over here also i will add a simple anonymous function that says button pressed okay and then i also need to give an child okay so again you can give any text widget i am giving an icon from the icon synonym and the icon will be add okay and you can see there's an error over here and that is because we are missing a parenthesis okay now i'll format it and save it so now you should be able to see a button uh, that has a plus icon on it and you can see that and if you look closely you can see there's a little bit shadow at the bottom and on the uh, left side so that means the button is a little bit elevated from the screen okay so that is the z axis we have the shadow in the z axis representing that the button is a little bit elevated okay then we can apply the same properties that we have in our raised button like color okay so the color is again red so now the button will be in red so an elevated button in red will be visible you can see that okay then similarly we have the color brightness okay then again it is let's say brightness dot dark okay and the rest of the features also like disabled color and on long press okay so now the another property that we have over here is elevation okay elevation so that means how much uh, shadow will be there that means how much will be the length of the z axis so let's say if i give 10 so now you can see there's a little bit shadow now if i run this the shadow would be a little bit thicker okay so let's see that and you can see the shadow has become a little bit thicker and it is more significant now okay so this says that the button is a little bit raised and this actually over here acts as the shadow okay and now over here if i make this null the on pressed function as null so then let's see what is the difference like in flat button if we were making it null so no difference in the button was visible just the functionality was not there okay and that is because we have changed it to null but over here since we are making it null that means we are making the raised button disabled you can see the color automatically changes to a disabled type of thing okay and if you press then the functionality is also not there okay so now you can even try adding some disabled color okay so suppose if the button is disabled then the disabled color is let's say this okay so now if the since the button is disabled our color will be this okay and so now you can see the difference okay so this was about raised button and there are particular scenarios where we need flat button and we need raised button okay so you know where to use what okay now the next type of button that we are going to discuss is outline button 
okay so first things first i'll create a body a center okay and the center has a child and the child is outline button so as the name suggests this button doesn't have any background it just have a has an outline okay so first of all on pressed and on pressed i'll create an anonymous function that simply prints in my console button pressed okay and it has a child okay that is again an icons so that all the buttons have the same icon like all the buttons that we have discussed till now icons dot add okay over here it will only be icon and not icons and now if you save this you should be able to see a an button that only has an outline and the background will be same as the entire screen and you can see that this is our button okay and it has a boundary okay so this is the default width and height of every button you can change the width and height by using a container and we have not yet studied about container but we will okay so if i press you can see button pressed so everything is working fine now the next feature that we have in this outline button is first let's format this okay the next feature is border okay so in an outline button the most significant part is the border so we have a property a parameter called border side okay and it takes a border side widget okay and it is used for designing the border okay so basically this border side is used for all the four sides like uh, in uh, general cases when you give a border to something then you need to give four borders for uh, top bottom right and left but since it is an outline button and in button we want to have the same border throughout so a single border side will only be applied to all the four sides okay so border side takes a color okay that is the color of the border so let's say i give red okay so now you can see the color is something grayish now if i save this the border should be in red color okay and you can see that over here the border is in red color now the next property is width okay that means the border width and it takes a uh i think double yes it takes a double value and the default width is 1 okay so if i make it to 5.0 then it should then the border should be a little bit thick now okay so and you can see that okay so the border is a little bit thick now the next thing that we have is a style okay so style is basically just if you don't want to show the border so if you click on border style none the border will disappear and border style solid that is the default type means the border border will be there okay so border is there so i'll try border style dot none and now my border should be gone okay so there's some error i am missing a parenthesis over here okay again i'll format it and save it and now you can see the border is gone and to bring the border back i'll simply just remove this or you can give it border solid so that would also be fine and this is our outline button now over here also if you want you can add on long press and all the other functionalities all the other things that we have seen in flat button and the same goes for raised button all the prop parameters that we have seen in the flat button can be applied in both raised button and border uh, outline button okay thank you